What's up everybody, Jay here and welcome back to The Planted Tank and today I'm going to be giving you guys a quick update on this Waterbox Clear 16. I know it's been a little while and uh, so yeah, let's check it out. So as you can see, the tank is doing really good. The dwarf uh, hair grass and Monte Carlo down there at the bottom are taking a little while to kind of take off. but. Uh, they are definitely growing and I've been running this light at 60% because it is pretty powerful especially for a tank that's only 14 inches tall and uh, the substrate is about 2 inches tall as well so it's only at about 12 inches so definitely going to be a pretty powerful light on max. Don't want to grow a whole bunch of algae which this tank did struggle for about the first two weeks with a really bad brown hair algae. For some reason, I get that every time I use this uh, UNS Contra soil. Not sure if it comes loaded with more nutrients than what I'm used to or what, but uh, definitely do a lot of water changes in the beginning stages of using UNS Contra soil. So the uh, Java fern there is spitting off a bunch of new leaves. I did have to pick off a bunch of new little baby plantlets. Uh, that's, a, that's the plant's way of saying, hey, it's stressed out. And uh, so if you want that plant to continue growing, you just want to pluck all those off so it doesn't waste energy on creating new plants. You want new leaves. So uh, that's what I do. Uh, I'm sure people do it a lot of different ways. There's all kinds of ways to grow java fern. So I also added some java fern window love over there in the little corner there. So, oh, uh, big, big change was the Rotala indica that was in the back left hand corner was just growing way too fast. I just could not keep up with trimming it. Uh, just, just don't have the time for that. So I uh, ended up switching that out with some kind of Echinodurus. I'll put that in the description. Can't remember what it's called right now, but all the Anubius is going crazy in there as well. The Crips are also starting to put off some new uh, transformed leaves. So those are starting to look really cool. And uh, overall, the scape is doing really good. I'm really enjoying it. I also picked up a Ming Dac uh, ramp timer for this Twin Star, and it works flawlessly. But I tested it out on the Night Crew light that I just did a, a review on uh, a few days ago. And then I also tested it on my current USA lights, and it didn't work on those either. It does some really weird flickering stuff when it goes to ramp up and down, but you can also use these timers as a, a straight on and on, which it does like a, a quick fade on and then a quick fade off, so it doesn't just go straight to 100% and shock the crap out of your fish. So that's awesome. And they're only like, I think they were like $11 a piece or something like that. I ended up buying three of them, still using all three of them right now. Uh, keep an eye out for a uh, video on how to use those because the instruction on the, the instructions on those kind of sucks. So uh, anyways, that's pretty much all I got for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and uh, the tank hasn't really changed much. Just kind of waiting on everything to fill in and I will keep you guys updated as it does. And uh, yeah, so if you guys are new here, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you never miss an upload. And if you like this video, hit the like button. And as always, keep it planted.